any grand vision needs expression which can be felicitated by a sensitive but firm governance structure i am now with dr uh, vipin garg who is the advisor to the abs it group of institutions a doyen academic administrator dr garg has governed the illustrious choudhury charan singh university at meerat he has been a teacher an advisor to a large number of technical and non technical boards across the country i welcome you sir thank you thank you very much so you have been saying that excellence is a journey it's not a destination uh, would you please uh, uh, elu minus more on that see us brother this is we are saying very many educational institutions in the country and in the state also what is important that we have various components in any education may be a technical education management has a role to give good infrastructure their responsibility is to induct good faculty committed faculty non teaching staff students their role is also to make people understand that this system is working for their reasons and their cause we have to convince the society at large together this educational system is an ecosystem while we are interacting with all these components the issue of governance automatically emerges and it takes shapes it is the confidence of the faculty your issues with them effective teaching in the class the participation of students in the campus their involvement in the campus so this is all these are the essence of governance issues of governance and education institution is just not by the infrastructure it is the culture we would like to infuse in them so in the context of uh, abs it group of institutions mm -hmm. how this uh, sensitization how the sensitive governance is unfolding in various departments and domains see you'll be interacting i learned from our director and uh, director general and the heads also but at this point of time you know i understand it is the democratic setup of an institution we are working through director heads of the department teacher mentors at various level where their views their understanding is also received their participation is ensured and uh, we are seeing very good results from this exercise so you talk about like a decentralized process oriented system of governance at a bsit yeah. uh, would you like to tell us more about the key hallmarks of this decentralized and process oriented governance no i don't follow exactly what you are i am saying that a uh, decentralized process oriented governance yeah. is something which is followed at abs it group of institutions a couple of examples which have uh, make your institution apart from the rest a uh, couple of examples of such decentralized decision making learning that we would like See, to know we have university defined syllabus with us mm -hmm. we are constrained to teach it mm -hmm. but then what additionally we can give to the students that is coming out of the discussion interaction mm -hmm. sessions from the teachers mm -hmm. from the students and that is once we understand and we decide to take it up that is implemented mm -hmm. so it is a teachers participation once they are sure what they are intended to do we receive from them 
and then ultimately it is implemented. So the academic learning processes, you are saying that there is a lot of democratization and decentralization. Naturally, naturally without it, it is not possible. So the teachers are promoted to take upon uh, yes, things beyond yes, their yes, curriculum. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. If that is not that, mm -hmm. then it, it goes very monotonous. Mm -hmm. So at times there is a complaint from the academic fraternity, uh, yeah. since you have been uh, the vice chancellor of uh, a very illustrious uh, state university as well. Uh, key the other supporting paraphernalia, yeah. it sometimes become a roadblock in the due deliverance of their uh, teaching learning processes. So how at ABS IIT you have ensured that the other academic paraphernalia or the other establishment mm -hmm. gives due support to the academic fraternity? No, that is very natural. If this is not possible, mm -hmm. then there is no use of this uh, academic infrastructure. Mm -hmm. You know, what should be the shape of a laboratory mm -hmm. or a workshop or any system installed in the education system that is a vision of the faculty and the management together mm -hmm. and that should lead to the mm -hmm. uh, involvement and involvement of the system only. Mm -hmm. Uh, sir, moving beyond, like uh, at ABS IT, there is a lot of talk about belongingness, the culture of belongingness, yeah. and the professional integrity. Yeah. So, uh, being at the helm of affairs, what is the ways and means? You know, this by is, which this is this is this is this is, you know, once the faculty is inducted in the system, mm -hmm. we have to ensure mm -hmm. that their interests are watched. Mm -hmm. They are regularly given incentives, mm -hmm. increments. Mm -hmm. We are supporting their cause, for example, their participation in national, international symposium, mm -hmm. seminars, mm -hmm. updating of knowledge, various activities. Uh, their involvement is only possible once they feel that they are in, this, in a safe system. Mm -hmm. Then only they can contribute or impart mm -hmm. knowledge to the students. In turn, they also become the part of the system. Mm -hmm. So, regularly, institution takes care, a proper increment is given to the faculty, mm -hmm. to the non-teaching, their views are received, they are well appreciated. The student feel that they have come in a campus where beside the infrastructure, their interest is washed. Mm -hmm. So, once they, they feel that they become the part of the system, they show belongingness. So this means that at ABS IT, uh, faculty formulates the pivot of the entire governance framework. Naturally, this is what I want to say. Mm -hmm. This is what, you know, mm -hmm. this is unless mm -hmm. the faculty is interwoven, mm -hmm. they are not integrated into the routine administration, mm -hmm. the results will never come out. So generally like uh, the governance people on the other side of the curve we have been discussing with, uh, they say that faculty is not cooperative, they are probably having one of the most cozy job profiles and still they are not willing to work and things like that. They have their own story. How at ABS IT you see it? What's your perspective uh, giving a balanced and a very no, again, aspirational ag ag view? Again, again same, same thing I will reply. You know, when faculty is inducted in the system, they first perceive the culture prevailing in a system. Mm -hmm. Everybody who comes as a faculty in the system has few good points. Mm -hmm. Once we understand that this faculty, beside their regular teaching, tutorials and practicals, is capable of taking up initiatives in this way, that is perceived and given a free hand. Mm -hmm. And once they are given free hand, they perform in a very well way and that is appreciated. So the onus of putting the trust on the faculty members that lies with the management, lies with the yes, governance yes, body? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Unless that is done, routine coming to the class, teaching and going away mm -hmm. is not going to give you mm -hmm. the desired results. So holistic education somewhere constitutes a very key facet of ABS IT yeah. uh, educational goal. What kind of holistic education you mean and you are delivering out here? <clears throat> See, we are interested, as I told you, there are various institutions who are imparting technical education, this uh, B program, ME programs, management programs, <coughs> MCA programs. And you know, I understand whenever 
we talk of engineering or management education or computer education the first mind that comes to our mind is either iits or iams right but this is not possible that everybody will be able to seek admission mm -hmm. because the number of student is so large if everybody cannot go to iits or iams or nits then what are the other option to the students we have to present a system or a model which may not be having the name of iit or iims mm -hmm. but they have a intention mm -hmm. a fair intention of delivering goods like iits and iims and for that what is important we should go do very effective teaching in the class mm -hmm. through our teachers mm -hmm. understanding that this is a heterogeneous class Mm -hmm. we have to see that the their practical tutorial their workshop should be done in a dedicated manner mm -hmm. the issues of the student should be tackled mm -hmm. the student is interested but their basics are not clear mm -hmm. so we have to take care of this mm -hmm. besides that there are various activities which we call as a co curricular activities which aid the curriculum <coughs> but may not be asked in the examination mm -hmm. then the extra curricular activities which gives the total development of student in the in his personality mm -hmm. and which throughout his life he enjoys so where do you see uh, absit group of institutions going say by 2020 i understand as i told you that everybody cannot seek admission in iits mm -hmm. they are doing very well and i am we understand that absit is going to prove in a time to come to is one of the very good institution established institution and uh, people will definitely go for this institution so this was professor dr vipin garg uh, the honorable advisor to the absit group of institutions as we can see through this interaction the kind of sensitivity and the care uh, eye to the micro detail of it uh, faculty being the pivot of the entire governance structure which probably makes the entire uh, system work in a different paradigm uh, the, the understanding of the fact and sensitizing the faculty that the class is a heterogeneous one and the needs of the varying student has to be tackled in a differential fashion so these are probably the hallmarks of a seasoned academic administrator and the value and wisdom of his is uh, being given to absit group of institutions you will be unraveling the other operational aspects of this uh, institution in a short while uh, stay tuned thanks a lot sir thank you very much excellent